It's my third time in Iceland and it's uh, fantastic to be back. It's such a, a great diversity of landscapes with waterfalls and volcanoes and glaciers. I just felt I need to bring the students along to, to get them to feel and experience and be inspired by the amazing landscape. I, like, I saw some pictures of it and I saw some like videos of people going there and what they're doing and stuff and it just made me feel like I really want to go there. Like the different places and the different landmarks and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it was really, really, really good. Plus, so I just jumped to the opportunity. If you are only here in Iceland for a very short time and want to experience quite a lot in this few days that you have, then the south is really great. You know, here you can experience just about everything that Iceland has to offer in a very short distance. Waterfalls, glaciers, geysers and the ocean. So in, uh, back in school I teach a whole range of lessons about volcanoes and energy and, and geothermal farming, quite theoretical things, I can show them photographs and videos, but actually experiencing from the point of view of the students, they can see the glaciers, they're walking on the glaciers with their crampons and ice axes, all in that safe, controlled environment, and they're learning through the soles of their feet is, is really good. The benefits of volcanoes are, are tremendous. We're in this uh, geothermal area here where we're seeing bananas and tomatoes being grown in these geothermally heated greenhouses the students just have that on board and that's the the best sort of education where they're being inspired by the landscapes and that hopefully will, will have a, a good long-term impact on the quality of their education. Looking at land farms in a textbook for example glaciers is nothing compared to the real thing so we went today to look at a glacier and it looks just like a wall of rock but as you get up close you can actually see into it it is ice you can just see the snow falling off of it and then you just get this these flat expanses and they're just holes covered in snow. It's, it is actually amazing. Well, uh, you might read a geography textbook and you see, oh, there's a picture of a geyser, but then you think, wow, a geyser's exploded in front of your face. It's just not something you, ever, you think happens in real life. You only ever see it in you know, yeah. books. It's, it's also interesting when you see something and then you know what the process is behind it. Yeah, and definitely uh, betters your understanding of everything. Seeing it in action, as I said, it's just yeah. exactly. You have a better understanding and picture it when you're in your exam. Yeah. Like, you wonder what a glacier was like, ah, oh, I remember from Iceland. Yeah. <laughs> so, what it looks like now. Yeah, definitely. We did a topic in our geography lesson, Iceland, and I can, I've learned some things here that I can take forward. So when I've been to Iceland in the past, I've been during the summertime and the landscape's been quite lush and green. And, but coming at this time of the year in, in March has been also fantastic. We've got tremendous snow around us and that's created a, a different atmosphere. And, but all the sites are very accessible and Discover the World have organised a very uh, accessible trip in the southern part of Iceland. We go on the coach and we visit a whole variety of places and we can get good access to uh, all the uh, resorts and all the uh, facilities, the waterfalls. And then we go back to the coach and then, then we see some more. So that's, uh, that's really good. Being an Icelander, of course you love your country, but uh, if I would to try to tell you, those of you that have never been here before or want to come to here, what, what do you experience? You experience beauty and extremely versatile landscape. And what people tell me, and I hope it's true, is that very nice people. Iceland in one sentence. I have to think about this one, so many things to say. Uh... Iceland is a beautiful and absolutely magnificent place mesmerising and beautiful landscapes. If I had to describe Iceland in one sentence, I'd say it's a land of amazing contrasts. It's always described as the land of fire and ice, but there's so much more to it than that. There's so much to see and do. You could stay here forever. I would highly recommend it to every other student. It's just land farms, you know, just relax. It's just, it's just amazing. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. And it feels like you learn a lot more as well because you're with your friends. And it's just such an exciting trip to go on. Like, you've never, I've never been anywhere like this and I'm sure like many people haven't either. So I definitely recommend it. I, I would definitely recommend Iceland as a location. The whole diversity of landscapes in a relatively small area here in Southern Iceland, it just makes it wonderful. It really does. Mm -hmm.